and welcome to National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. Coming up, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt attends the ECCB Monetary Council meeting. A resource center in Sensi nearing completion and an FAO consultant visits local farms. Details of these and other stories coming up right after this. Dominica is blessed with an abundance of water, but getting it to your home is an expensive venture. You have a responsibility to conserve water, to use it wisely. Remember the old adage, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. Think water, think life. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. His Excellency President of Dominica, Charles Savre, says small island developing states may soon be asked to introduce legislation which is more in keeping with the values of metropolitan countries. The island's head of state made the comment as he addressed Parliament last Friday. His Excellency President Savre made particular reference to a call made by the United Nations for small island developing states to adopt 17 sustainable development goals. My message to this parliament is that our efforts at sustainable development must be propelled by sustainable energy generation that maximizes the use of our considerable renewable sources of energy in the most cost-effective and efficient manner. We need to be cautiously optimistic about the likely outcomes of the SDGs. The point will be reached when members will have to decide to what extent the growing acceptance of a new meaning of the term human rights is compatible with the moral and ethical values and beliefs of the Dominican society and their importance to the legislative agenda of parliament and the development of the country. The Monetary Council of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the institution's highest decision-making body, met in St. Kitts and Nevis on the 24th of February for the 81st meeting of the Council. During the meeting, the Council received a report on monetary and credit conditions in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union from the Governor of the ECCB, the Honorable Sir Dwight Venner. The ECCB Monetary Council comprises the Ministers for Finance from the eight member governments, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, the Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Council was informed that real GDP growth in the ECCU for 2014 was estimated at 1.7% compared with 1.1% in 2013. Developments in the regional government securities market, which continued to grow in importance as a source of credit, indicated a general ease of credit terms for the member governments. Near-term outlook and prospects indicated that the aggregate ECCU economy was forecast to increase to 2.4% in 2015 and 2.5% in 2016. The Council also discussed economic conditions with the ECCU and agreed that coordinated planning and the execution of strategies to strengthen the financial sector and stimulate broad-based sustainable growth were key key to the overall development of the ECCU economies. Honorable Prime Minister of Dominica Roosevelt Skerritt attended Tuesday's meeting. The next meeting of the Council will be held on July 24, 2015 in Anguilla. In more news, Dominica will soon see an increase in livestock production, particularly in pork and other small ruminants. Funds has been set aside under the Banana Accompanying Measures Program to undertake a major project that will not only boost production in the livestock sector, but will also increase the quality of meat produced by livestock farmers. This is expected to be accomplished by introducing artificial insemination and embryo transfer in pigs, goats and sheep. Just recently, Dr. Gabriel Young, a consultant in assisted breeding technology, was on island to conduct a survey to establish Dominica's position on livestock production and to assess the country's readiness for such technologies. GIS News spoke with Chief Veterinary Officer Dr. Reginald Thomas, who explained the advantages of artificial insemination and embryo transfer. They both have their, their benefits. Um, with embryo transfer, you can essentially 
purchase or obtain the highest quality of animal and insert it into what is a surrogate. In the, so the process of improvement is quicker by the, at the um, embryo transfer. Unlike the, the um, artificial insemination, which would take at a couple generations because you, are, you would be using semen and the, seri the female would carry part of the, of the genetic material across. Um, so both programs, as I said, has their, have their, their benefits. And um, so we're going to explore both of them yeah, with the means of trying to expand what is the, the livestock subsector. Thomas says this is a good move for Dominica. He says the country is prepared to undertake this project on a large scale as the requirements to feed and generally take care of small ruminants are relatively easy for local farmers. Dr. Thomas adds that this project will certainly complement government's imminent abattoir project. Thomas anticipates good results from this project, noting that this is not the first time such a project is conducted on the island. It's a program that we hope would, um, would um, allow for rapid or more rapid improvement in genetic quality, improve our productivity in terms of livestock production and in terms of getting the genetic material quicker to the farmers. Um, this is, this is the, the, some of the, the outcomes of that project. AI is not new to us. We had a program like that with pigs in the 19, um, late 80s, early 90s. Um, under the French Technical um, Corporation, um, particularly in the southeast, where we we sought to improve the pigs that we had um, going back in our existence. Our pigs were essentially black or black and white. Um, if if you look at pigs now, they are generally white or, or red. What what happened during that process? We were able. Um, in a few years to change the black pig to a white pig essentially. Um, so we're going to bring that back um, so that we can, we can assist the farmers as best as possible in bringing genetic material to their farms. He's hoping that before the end of 2015, the project will start to bear fruit. This project forms part of government's efforts to encourage farmers to diversify in the agriculture sector. This move will also ensure the production of meat on a large scale for the abattoir. Work on the Sensi Resource Center is over 90% complete. Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Kalinago constituency, Cassius Daru, confirmed this during an interview with GIS News on Monday. Honorable Daru also announced plans for road rehabilitation in that part of the constituency. Soon we'll have the commission or the opening of the new resource center. And also the contract has been signed with, with public works in the sum of $139,094.97 for the construction of the road that's uh, at the back of the resource center. And I believe this resource center it is going to enhance the, ambience of the, the general ambience of the Sensi community. Mm, in this resource center we are going to have the oh, this, uh, this, um, preschool. We are going to have a mini, a small conference room and some little information centers that you can receive some important information about the Kalinago territory when you drive through. Consultant with the Food and Agriculture Organization, Louis Perez Vicente, wants Dominican farmers to recognize the threat posed by the Black Sigatoka disease. Vicente is now visiting the island's farms to assess the impact of the Black Sigatoka. The FAO consultant is a Cuban expert in the management of banana and other crop diseases. I think that it's essential that uh, Dominica keep a central core of technician doing monitoring and advising the grower where the disease is in, uh, in progression and where the disease is in regression so you can uh, allocate better the moment of the treatment, fungicide treatments. More treatments are required and more cropping practice because everybody should be conscious that as you demand more treatment, you need more production to pay for the treatment. Vicente wants farmers to listen to the advice of officials of the Black Sigotoka Management Unit. It's very important that every week you have a sanitation surgery instead of living. Bunch target, good nutrition, nematode control. You have a plantation with small bunches, 
no roots. So it is needed to improve the, the cropping practice and nutrition, uh, nematode control and fungicide application and tagging the fruit, all activities that they usually did before. And that's the English news. Marcos and St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel un créole, non moins c'est Macpherson saint louis Premièrement, le gouvernement Dominique Tapé, assistance FAO en consultant cuban, qui en Dominique a présent qu'à assister le ministre agriculte combattre Black Sigur Toka. Parole celle-là, sorti au officier quarantine Ryan Ansem. Nous avons eu contre Black Sigur Toka. Et ça, FAO fait, il y a eu un consultant vini pour faire un assessment programme management Black Sigatoka avec consultant ça là c'est docteur Louise Vicente Perez um, so il c'est un un scientist en Cuba il a travaillé en banane avec figue pour un patch d'année et il il bien connaît comment nous ca mettre programme en place pour nous manger Black Sigatoka et il vivait en Dominique en um, vendredi qui passait et ben ça nous a fait nous a joindre um, planter nous nous parler bayo il parler bayo il fait un assessment pour qui il pas qu'à faire c'est c'est misère pour contrôler black cigatoka et ben nous aller tout en pays là et ben ça il a dit il a dit oui um, gouvernement ni on on pas pour jouer en management black cigatoka mais ça, il même cas où on planté à ni on 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 toutes ces cultural practices là, ces bagages là, ces planté à ni pour faire. En simple fait par wall qui habitants si vous êtes swift bon weg, à donc on manie combattre maladie là. Quand on sait, on toujours qu'à dire pas seulement spray black cigatoka. Eh ben, elle nous passe tout mon pays qui a parlé bah yo, qui a dit oui. Um, ministre agriculte ni pour pour spray une pour faire ça une pour faire mais mais travail là même pour nous contre les blacks c'est tout cas c'est planté à qui une pour faire une pour faire des lifin là ce jour-là une pour faire huit control là et ben c'est ça nous toujours qu'a dit et ben il même qu'a qu'a dit yo ça et ben so ça il même qu'a dit nous pour implémenter implémenter plan et faire au faire un des années um, 12 sont encore um, nous bien contents et fait au cabal nous pour ça là un autre nouvelle travail qui a continué bien formidable à ces projets appartement en la coudouin projet ça là qui financé par gouvernement dominique qu'a voué 60 appartements en bâti gouvernement dominique tapé en soft loan people's republic of china pour bâtir projet salam ou la compagnie pays ça là qui a construit projet là qui n'est 36 appartements en Mzol et puis 24 en la Coudouin, qui formé par commitment gouvernement fait pour vision Kai pour dominer chien, sa chaîne accommodation, aussi qui a tombé en bas programme révolution Kai. Compagnie là qui a servi matériau l'autre pays et puis il y a confiance et ça dit et signe. 30 Chinois et puis 10 dominés chien qui travaillent assez à projet là qui pour finir en juin l'année cela. En notre nouvelle, plaisir, groupe Kalina a une conscience bien formidable qui a consigné l'identité ailleurs. Parole celle-là, sorti au ministre Kalina, au honorable Cassius Daru, selon la législation qui passait pour changer nos yeux, on a pour Kalina. Nous avons un mouvement qui a commencé en l'autre, long temps, bon de temps à passer. Nous avons un mouvement en cultural consciousness. Je pense que les créoles renaissance, mais son bagage comme ça qui fait, il y a des différents groupes qui viennent, des bagages comme Carifuna, Carina, et des autres groupes en territoire. Mais ils gardent l'histoire nous-mêmes, ils ne sont pas en train de faire. Et puis, comment dire ça, en 2013, 2013, le premier chef, chef Kalinago qui menait ça devant le gouvernement, c'était Chief Joseph. Et bien, pardon moi, ce chef Joseph, moi, je vais complimenter pour ça, pour un bon step, là, pour mener bagarre ça dans le devant gouvernement. Et bien, dire, non, nous avons besoin de ce non, ça, là, ça, pas non, non, c'est Kalinago qui nous a dit, nous avons besoin de ce. 
Eh bien, maintenez un lot de différents bagages pour, pour venir à ce date ça là. Parce que, euh, comment dire ça, en 1930, en 1930, nous avons eu trois fois qui étaient morts parce que la police vini, a fait un combat et des choses. Je crois que c'est l'âge de quoi. Je crois que c'est l'âge de quoi. C'est l'âge de quoi. C'est l'âge de quoi. Et bien, quand ça nous a fait, il y a une nécessité pour nous ça changer ce monde ça là. Et bien, quand ça, ce mouvement continue juste un jour du jour, nous avons un changement. Et puis finalement, Humaine Société Dominique travaille à ses missions pour adresser la population aux animaux qui sont en pays. La société là, qui travaille à ses programmes pour conduire l'opération à ces animaux qui sont en pays. Quand même, si l'on chef Dr. Beth, Dr. Reginald Thomas, problème société qui a expérimenté et puis ces animaux salam, ça a combattu ces tags. Et des programmes salam qui ont aussi fait provision pour cacher la population ces animaux salam et puis bio manger et puis de l'eau. Société là aussi, car elle était publique là, manière pour protéger les animaux. Monsieur, madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Nous, moi, c'est Marc Fosson Senlos. Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. If you can believe this... Come by my house and let me show you some movies. Why can't you believe this? Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Daily exercise needn't feel like a burden. It can be as simple as taking a daily stroll. Take regular walks. Enjoy your favorite TV shows, but get up and take an exercise break during commercials. When reading, get some exercise after every six pages. Walk quickly or run while doing errands. Start an active new hobby, such as biking or hiking. And if you're on the phone, walk around while you chat. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Moving Matthew. Thanks for watching and join us again next time for National Focus.